says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. Kara Patrick died in a crash at this location in Pikeville January 16th. Now the driver in the vehicle in which she was riding is facing a felony charge in relation to Patrick's death. 24-year-old Kristen Dameron was indicted this week in Pike County on a second-degree manslaughter charge. Dameron was driving her vehicle on Chloe Road in Pikeville on January 16th when she lost control and collided with an oncoming vehicle. Dameron's passenger, Kara Patrick, was killed in the crash. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said the investigation into the wreck indicated Dameron was intoxicated on meth at the time of the crash. Inside the car, unfortunately, the police did find evidence of meth use, including used syringes. They also found meth. Bartley said the wreck happened at the onset of a snowstorm. He added that investigators do not believe the snow caused the wreck. The blood test results showed what we suspected, that she was high on methamphetamine. We think the methamphetamine caused the wreck, not the snow. I'm surprised that there's not more of these every day, frankly, because we are finding people just every day at all hours of the day under the wheel operating a vehicle after they've used meth. Kristen Dameron is lodged in the Pike County Detention Center on charges not related to the crash. She could face 10 years in prison if convicted on the manslaughter charge. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.